Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of interlocking in PLC. In order to understand interlocking in a simplest possible way, let us consider a typical example where we have two participants X and Y participating in a quiz program. Each of them have a push button switch with them and these push button switches are represented as normally open contact in this particular fashion and they are connected to a light load in this particular fashion. So whenever X knows the answer, X will press the push button switch. The contact corresponding to X will get energized and the rung corresponding to X will ener get energized and consequently the light close in this particular fashion. Now if Y knows the answer as well, Y presses the push button switch and the contact corresponding to Y gets energized, the rung corresponding to Y gets energized and the light starts glowing in this particular fashion. But quiz doesn't happen this way, isn't it? Quiz usually happens in a way where if a person knows the answer, he will first press the push button switch. And if the second person is pressing after the first person, he will not be eligible to answer. So in this case, what I'm trying to achieve is if the first press person presses the push button switch, even if the second person presses the push button switch, the light should not be glowing for the second person. So how do we achieve that? So that can be achieved in a very simple way where I'll be having two normally closed contact connected in series with respective participants in this particular fashion. One important observation to be noted is the address of L1 will be same over here to this contact address of L2 will be same over here. I've just interchanged here in this particular fashion and this plays a very, very important role in order to achieve that. So how do we achieve that is a big question, isn't it? So that is very simple. I have represented this in green because this will be initially acting as short circuit because these are normally closed contact. Remember this point. This is very, very important. So now for example, let us consider an example where X knows the answer and X presses the push button switch at the first place and the contact corresponding to X will get energized. The rung corresponding to X will be energized and the light close for L1. So now once L1 is actually energized, what happens here? L1 is given here as well. The address of L1 is taken over here. So this becomes de-energized. Consequently, it is indicated in red over here and acts as open circuit. Now, even if Y knows the answer and tries to push, press the push button switch over here, Y gets energized here, but this is acting as open circuit and it will not allow the current to flow through this path and light L2 will never glow in this case. Similarly, if we have another case where Y first knows the answer and presses the push button switch in this particular fashion, the coil Y gets energized, the rung corresponding to Y gets energized and the light glows in this particular fashion. And once L2 is energized, the contact that is corresponding to L2 over here will be de-energized and access open circuit because it was normally closed circuit. So when once it is energized, it will act as open circuit. So L2 was energized. As a result, it acts as open circuit. And now even if X knows the answer and presses after Y in this particular fashion, the contact of X gets energized, but no current flows through this path because L2 is actually acting as open circuit. As a result, L1 is not energized and the light does not glow for L1. So this concept is called as interlocking, where if one of the push button switches is pressed first, the operation corresponding to hit only should happen. And even if the other one is pressed after the first one, no operation should take place in the circuit. And this is applicable in a lot of application. For example, if a motor should rotate in the forward direction and reverse direction, once it is rotating in the forward direction, you cannot immediately change it to rotate in the reverse direction. So in that way, you can actually apply the same example over there as well. So I uh, hope this concept is clear. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Please do keep supporting. Thank you.